Hello everyone, this is Solar Modes 18. Um, pardon the laundry in the back of the room. I haven't really gotten able to do that yet. But today I do want to bring up a big important thing before I go out and hang out with people, you know. So, for my channel, the thing I'm going to do for my channel, I have a couple of things I want to announce for this channel because I do, I am still keeping my promises of what I said in 2020 at the end of it. So 2021 will have the following things done. The first thing I will definitely have done before anything else would be Fate the Wink Saga review. I am going to review the first season. I said season. This is true. There is going to be a second season confirmed by the showrunners. I will mention this in the review which means it's gonna have a bunch of questions I have for the show. So that's gonna be very weird and just overall. What? Okay, like, I don't think I hate the show, but I love, I don't love it either. That's just really my biggest thing with it. The second thing I wanna mention is that, yes, my vlog channel is still up and running. I actually have been trying to make more videos for the vlog channel because I do genuinely enjoy making fun vlogs, talking about different things like coffees and candid discussions on certain things. I mean, if you really want to watch the next upload, I would suggest by the time this video is uploaded, I will have uploaded the vlog video. I believe I uploaded it yesterday. I think so or something. I'm not sure, but I, it's going to be uploaded by the time today is over, which is Sunday, the 21st of February. And by the time this video is uploaded, it's probably going to be either Monday or Tuesday that I upload this video because of editing and whatnot. So I also have an official kind of like streaming focused overlay as well. This is why I'm recording using OBS instead of my normal webcam because it does have the setting that I can have a 1080p, at least an HD setting rather than 720p. I hate the way that my videos turn out if it's 720p. And I want to show you my new overlay. So, there we go. Hope you guys really enjoy the way that this setup is. Um, I will probably try to be restreaming onto Twitch because, I don't know, I think I want to grow my presence on Twitch a little more. Mostly talking about like Paddle to Pawn and stuff. But I play, since I play really obscure kind of games and niche games, I don't expect it to be performed that well. But I don't really care. So you have enjoyed the show. Follow and subscribe here. Enjoy the show here. Then there's my title. Down here is the Twitch card. Then here is my YouTube channel. And then over here is my Instagram and so and Twitter. Both all those things are very personal. So if I post something very personal. I don't know. I have to request. You have to request to follow me on Instagram. It's a, it's like a mini public figure personal page. So I don't know. I just post random crap there. As for my Twitter, that's more where I'm going to be a little bit less active. I just post video and streaming updates because my browser will tell you it's like yeah, that's what that's what I'm posting. All right. So just give me one moment, and I and I mean one moment like. Sorry, didn't mean to jump cut that, but I guess it worked well. <laughs> so, that's the overlay. That's kind of what I've been planning on doing for a bit. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I do want to stream more games using like OBS instead of my actual capture card streaming software because it's okay, but I could definitely use OBS for a more streamlined experience. I can actually look at chat. And then I can also get like donations because I'm not sure if I really deserve really donations right now, but I think it'd be really nice since again, I don't necessarily need donations. It's not like I'd really need it to make us just a decent channel. That's, I'm not, it's a, it's a small channel. Of course, no one's going to donate to you yet because they probably don't have money, but in a realistic way, I think it'd be really nice if at least someone if it would be really nice if you did donate. It's very optional. You don't have to. I'll be greatly appreciative if you did. So please 
this is also goes to show that I really appreciate all of my followers, all of my subscribers to my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. It's I did not expect to actually have people watching me. Never mind actually wanting to see my uploads. And with the burnout, I, I didn't really have a burnout. I took a two week long break after my 100 sub special. I took a break. That was going to be the big swan song before I took a break. And so I feel like I'm ready to record more gameplay footage in the next night or so. I'm going to be making more videos. I do actually have one video planned I'm editing currently, but it's just a kind of a post commentary story. It's, it has a little story to it. And I think you guys might like that. So back with another video I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about me making videos. I especially wanted to talk about the CPU me's, a video where I rank all the CPU me's and I think it would be really fun for you guys to watch because let's be fair, I do not think that that's a bad idea. Me looking at all the CPU me's on the Wii Sports Wiki and going through it to see which me's are my favorites, which me's are my least favorites, how do I feel about these me's? Of course, I might have to do it like unscripted. I have a possibility to make a little, a couple of quips about them scripted wise, but I just want to keep that very casual. Those are very casual videos. Of course, gameplay videos are coming back. Um, unfortunately, I might make a video about why I stopped playing New Horizon, Animal Crossing New Horizons, but that's just not mean this is the end of Animal Crossing. I probably will have more New Horizons content at some point. I just haven't felt the, been in the right headspace to play it. So that is very important to me. I want to be in the right headspace to play it, and recently I just haven't been. And plus, it's just been a major letdown for me. Also, I want to talk about the Nintendo Direct at some point, but I don't know. It's just going to be a very short, a small opinion. I'm just going to give my opinions right now. Genuinely, I don't really care. I'm not a Xenoblade fan, so Pyra and Mithra are coming into Smash. They look fun enough, but I just don't really care. I'm not a huge fan of them. They're hot, I'll say. They're really hot. And if anyone tries to cancel me about it, I don't care. You pro you shouldn't cancel me. Y'all just jealous that you ain't fucking hot like me. You're not even hot like them. That's what I'm saying. Then you have like Mario Golf, a new Mario Golf game. I feel like this is going to be the Ultra Smash of Mario Golf, which is very scary to me because Ultra Smash wasn't good. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash wasn't good. And then it led to Mario Tennis Aces and it just felt like the same old rehash crap. And I feel like they're doing that with Mario Golf. And oh, they, oh look, they added a me. Yay. No, this just feels bad in a way. Give me my Camelot characters back, damn it. I don't care if Miis have effectively replaced them, but it'd be really cool if you had your me go up against the classic Camelot characters. That'd be freaking awesome. But of course, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. You know they're not going to do that. It really pisses me off. But that's beside the point. If I talk about it in a separate video, I might go more in depth with it in another video at some point. And there's like the new Metopia Definitive Edition. Metopia. That actually boggled my mind. Like, that surprised me. Metopia came out a little bit around the same time as the Switch's launch. And like, very few people actually played Metopia. And I feel like they could have actually made it a Switch game in general. They really could have made it a Switch game. That would have been really cool. But no. No, they did a 3DS game. I guess the charm of the 3DS game, it was $40 on release, but now it's like $50 with a couple of extra added stuff. I mean, I guess the extra $10 isn't terrible. It's not terrible, but it's not like a slap in the face. It's not like a complete, the best thing ever. It's not. Then there's like Skyward Sword HD and I could probably care less about the way that Nintendo's handling their ports now. I could care less. And like, I believe the la other game that was being revealed was like Splatoon 3. That's not, we're not going to hear any news about that until later in 2021 because it comes out 2022. Hey, look, we revealed it. It's going to be in a kind of France, Paris area. 
it's cool. Cool. We're not going to hear anything about it until about 2021, like summer 2021, maybe. Summer, fall 2021. We're going to hear more about it then. Then there's a bunch of like indie games and a bunch of smaller franchises like Famicom Detective Club. I'm like, Famicom Detective Club, that that's a very obscure game to reboot, but that's cool. I think that'd be really awesome. That's really cool that you're rebooting a kind of an obscure series that like only Japanese fans could play. But everyone was like, Mother 3. I feel like people were just saying, Mother 3, Mother 3. And they like, Famicom Detective Club. Why not? <laughs> so, definitely, that might be its own video. I'm really thinking it might be its own video. I really want to talk about it. As well as a video about King of Fighters 15. I feel like I'm very interested in these games. This is something I'm very interested in that's not Nintendo related. And I don't know if, I don't know, I actually say in my description that I talk about fighting games too. And that's what it is. I talk about fandoms and fighting games are in a fandom. So yeah, um, I guess that's about it. You guys can expect a lot more content from me. I will be doing my best to juggle my work schedule, my social life, and this YouTube life. Of course, YouTube is gonna be a lot smaller of a priority than like my work life because obviously I work, I work a full-time job and I've been trying to get a promotion at that job for a while and I'm very close to getting it. I was close to getting it initially, but on the, the trial run, you never know. I might have a completely different like title at my job, but that's not something I discuss on here. It's I have a, I have a real full time job, and I get paid very well. It's bi weekly paychecks, pretty nice hefty paychecks as well. So there's also some very important adult things I do as well, and outside of YouTube. And a lot of these content creators expect me to make a lot of everyday content or very a bunch of content a lot. It's like I can't do that. That's literally not in my schedule. But it's. I have to script the video, I have to, if not scripting a video, I have to have the time and energy to record actual gameplay footage. So that sucks, right? It feels like it really does suck. So, but I, we, I do promise that we're going to make this channel grow even more than it has in the past year. I thank everyone who's pushed it over 100 subscribers. I'd love to make it grow more. And so I believe the first video that might be coming out would actually be a direct capture card footage of my, this video, and then the direct capture card footage of We Party You. I did another version of Do, Do You Know Me? And it's with two, three of my original characters, which is my me and like two of my original like male versions of me. It's very unreleased. It was recorded months ago, but I feel like I didn't know where to put it so I can put it now. And then the fourth character was Christina. And so... I think it's pretty cool. I think I like it. I really do like it. So I like the way it came out. I don't think I'm going to put any commentary on it. Um, if I use that as like a background gameplay footage for anything, just recognize that's my footage. So I don't mind if you use my footage. Just please credit me. Some people will refuse to credit people. Credit me when you use my footage. Please do. That'd be, that's all I ask if you use it. So, like, so to end off this video, streams. More Wink stuff talking about, yeah, you know what I mean by that. Just talking about Wink stuff. More me content, fighting game content. That's really all I want to talk about on this thing. This is more of mostly my fun channel, the channel of fandom and stuff. If you want to check my vlog channel, that is Solar Mode Digest. It'll be in the description and in the card. If I make more scripted videos, and here, and also in the card, you'll see, I believe it's like up here you'll see some more things that I feel like should have been videos that I really wish would have performed better. So I will go give those a watch if you want. That'd be, I'd suggest you give those a watch if you really want to enjoy things. Take a breather. I'd actually would love some criticism on, that, on one of those videos. It was the Disney Still Brave video. I would love some criticism on that. So anyway, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, if you're a new viewer. 
make sure you're still subscribed and hit the notification bell if you're one of my returning viewers and definitely like and share this video. That's all I ask. That'd be really nice. Comment what you guys would love to see on my channel, specifically related to like fandom content. Comment what you want to see on that channel or comment what you want to see on my vlog channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.